I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. You're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Do I know the Winking Skeever? I just bought a house in Solitude. I'm familiar with the Winking Skeever. Who's this contact of yours? You're sure I can trust him? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. You've had more than enough. And how am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. That's going to be tricky. That's going to be hard. Once I'm inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. All right. I'll see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh? <clears throat> Let's see here. It's from... Falk Firebeard at the Blue Palace. Ooh, you've got friends in high places. A letter from Falk, Looks you like say? that's it. Got to go. Let's see what that's all about. Georg, over the last few days we've had some disturbing information come to light regarding the events at Wolf Skull Cave and the summoning and binding ritual that you interrupted there. Given your involvement with that event, I'm asking you to return to Solitude to help us once more. I'm wary of putting all the details in print. Please, come see me at the Blue Palace. All roads lead to Solitude, huh? We have to go to Solitude for Falk, we have to go to Solitude to meet Malborn. I feel like we have to meet with Malborn first. I feel like the Thalmor party is a little bit time-sensitive. I could very well miss the party, so unfortunately Falk might have to wait a little bit longer. But that'll definitely be one of my stops, or one of my first stops, after returning from the embassy. Are we spies now? We're spies now. We're spies who've been sent by a spy to meet a spy who'll send us spying! How exciting! Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Hello, everyone. If I could have your attention, please. Has anyone seen a shifty-looking wood elf? No? Nobody? Hmm. Looks like we're on our own. So, Lucian, just a quick thing. Yes? I am Our not going to be able to bring you on this. This is a very sensitive mission, and I think I'm better off going alone for this one. Really? You're sure? Well, I suppose I've had my money's worth. Come find me back in Falkreath if you change your mind. And... This isn't goodbye. This isn't for good. I'm gonna see you back in Falkreath real soon. But I have a feeling that this is just gonna be a little bit better if I go to the embassy on my own. It's a little bit more inconspicuous. And I'm pretty sure Delphine can only get me one invite anyway. Hi there. Need something? I'm just gonna take a seat. What do you need? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. 
Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the Embassy. The rest is up to you. I have to pick? What kind of thing should I bring? You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. I'm not much of a stealth person, so this could be tricky. Here's what I'll need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. I'm going to give you just a few things that I know might prove really, really, really useful. I'm going to give you my bow in case I do actually decide to try and shoot my way out in case I do decide to try and use some archery in there. But my chances of getting away with this stealthily, that is going to be rough. That's going to be real, real tricky, frankly. Alright, I think we're set. Now, the only thing is I am not wearing shoes. Because I wasn't carrying any spare shoes on me. I left them at my old home. So hopefully no one's going to think I look a little suspicious walking around in a very nice outfit, but no shoes. Well, time to meet Delphine down at the stables. I really feel like I hurt Lucian's feelings, and that was not the intention. I know he was really excited to be a spy, to join me in the Thalmor Embassy, but I really just didn't think it'd be smart or wise to bring a second person, especially since Delphine was like, I can get you slayer of the an invitation, witches. Dragonborn. How can I assist you, companion? And granted, I could have told Lucian, wait here in solitude, but... I figured I'd just let him do whatever he wants. I figured it's like, all right, head back to Falkreath, and I'll see you in a bit. I'm going back for him. This isn't goodbye, Lucian. But he just seemed so dejected, so upset. And now I can't help but feel bad about it. Also, this is just very uncomfortable. I'm <laughs> just walking barefoot in the rain, in the middle of the night. Oh, I really uh, should have brought some extra shoes. Note to self, carry a spare set of shoes. Just a nice, simple set of shoes from now on. Because this is less than ideal. This is really, really, really less than ideal. Delphine? There you are. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? I have. He's all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. Shoes? When you're ready. Shoes. I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Well, let me take a look at that invitation then. Alan, when first emissary of the Aldmer Dominion to the Kingdom of Skyrim, requests the pleasure of the company of Georg Full Tankard at a reception on the 2nd of Frostfall, year 201, at the Ambassador's residence. Regrets only. Formal attire. Oh, <laughs> I was just going to say acquired. Requested. Well, let me put it on then. Oh, I look good. You know what? I clean up pretty well. Anytime I'm wearing something a little bit more formal, I think I look really, really good in it. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Would you like to try and Ready do better? To board the carriage to the embassy? Would you like to try it yourself, Delphine? I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Ah, a fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. 
My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? I guess so. Please, you first. I insist. All right. I will say just so. rest here a moment. Although it is damnably cold out here, I don't look forward to the trip back down. Hello there. Welcome to the Tholmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Uh, here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. I'm amazed that guy gets invited yes, back. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. <laughs> you think he'd just get kicked out at a certain point? Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Let's hope that it ends soon. It's quite a party. It's my first time, you know. Where can I get a drink? Don't worry. My parties are always sure well stocked with the finest food and drink available in this country. But first, you were introducing yourself. Uh, Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arenthia Red? <laughs> Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. I've spent many hours in council. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What a shame. I was really looking forward to talking to you. These storm cloaks are nothing more than and, an uh, mob. This wall and Delphine was worried that I wouldn't fit in. Yes, I think I'm going to fit in much better than have the loudmouth who I came in with. Well, what can, what can I get for you, sir? I've heard that the feud between uh, I'd the like a drink. The Here you go, sir. Run, the finest Colovian brandy. Fralia Is there anything else I can get for you? That the battle boards have abducted one of us. I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Are the dragons frightening your people as much as they're frightening mine? I've spent many hours in council meetings lately grappling with that problem. We must What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? I mean, I just asked the bartender. What brings you to this party? You must be new around here. Bad manners to ask such a direct question at one of Elwin's little soirees. Yes, I agree with you. But I have nothing to hide. I'm in from the south on business. And if you want to do business in Tamriel these days, well, you'd better get used to cozying up to the Thalmor, like it or not. Seems been Here, I brought you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering like of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Of course, I'll keep that in mind. I'll let you know if I need anything. Your wish is my command. As long as it doesn't involve much physical activity. I seem to be having trouble staying on my feet at the moment. Well, let me just see who's around. Let me see who's here. My friend! A Hello. Toast to a I don't recall friendship. seeing you at one of these before. And I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. Your people as much Maybe as I'm new. Mine. What brings you to this party? To maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. Understood. Until next time. Don't let me keep you. Oh, with the soldiers all fighting in the You're war, you're all Ravencrow. Nobody to hunt down the bandits. Fancy seeing you here. Travel has become dangerous of late. I know just what you mean. Oh. She won't Heard talk to me. Interesting lately? Now, here's Any a face I did not possible. expect to see. Have you Be mindful, Florence for you lately? walk among adders. No she needed a second. She <laughs> just needed to sit down and get her bread ready. Having a good time, my Jarl? Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. Who knows? Do you visit the embassy often? There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. 
For this reason, I avoid them when I can. As do I. Very much so, and thank you for asking. May wisdom light your path. Oh. You're all Elisif. I'm sorry that I couldn't speak with Falk immediately. The Great War is long past. It's time the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. Oh boy. What brings you to this party? You must be new to Skyrim or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> I must say, your opinion is an uncommon one here in Skyrim. You sound like quite the businessman. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength. And my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. You there, serving girl! What's your name, dear? Ah, oh, Freyla, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? This poor no, no, serving that's girl. Not what I'm interested in right now. Oh, I feel bad I for her. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Just let her do Was her job. Was there anything else I could do for you? Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Don't go far. Okay. When I married yes, Torek, Preventus. he promised we'd go to lavish parties just like this. I wish he were here now. Preventus. Trust me. There's no place better to forge relationships with the movers and shakers of Skyrim. Movers and shakers? I haven't heard anyone say that in a while. Enjoying the party, Preventus? Oh, hello there. I didn't expect to see you here. Don't look so nervous. Yes, I am indeed. Elinwyn always serves the best wine at her parties. The food is excellent as well. Though I confess, being surrounded by so many wealthy and important people makes me feel more than a little nervous. Quite a gathering, wouldn't you say? Could Jarl Balgriff not make it? Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. Don't let me keep you. I'm guessing Jarl Balgriff just couldn't be bothered, the so he sent you instead. The degeneracy of the Empire is on display here in this room. None of these people cares a whit about the religious aspects of this war. Another sign of the degeneracy of your Empire. Sir, this is a party, please. Can there truly be peace between the Thalmor and the Empire? There is peace now, and that peace will continue for as long as it suits our needs. But make no mistake, this is not a peace forged out of necessity between rival nations of equal strength. It is more like the calm between storms, and the next storm, I think, will be far deadlier than the last. What a strange thing to say to someone at a... party. What an odd thing to say to... What would be your enemy at a party? What are your duties here in Skyrim? I lead the Justitias. We are charged with enforcing the ban on Talos worship. Oh. Nords can be quite stubborn. They're slow to change their ways, and we find more heretics every day. Is that so? But mark me well. I will purge the heresy from this land as surely as the flame burns the flesh from the bone. All right, then. Good to know. I should be back in Windhelm. I've got work to do. I'm not sure we've met before. What brings you to this party? Ill luck. I'm a busy man and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time, I don't dare refuse an invitation from Elinwyn. You don't look happy to be here. Is it that obvious? I should take pains to seem more happy. I wouldn't want to upset our host. But the truth of it is, I have a mountain of paperwork back in Windhelm, and it's not getting any smaller. I just hope this party doesn't drag on all night. I wouldn't be too worried about that. Goodbye. Victoria, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh no. Is he also gonna flirt with her? 
She's engaged. She won't stop talking about her wedding. Take advantage of the fine food and drink. Such things have been scarce since the war began. How are you enjoying the party? Well enough, I suppose. Ellen Wen puts a great deal of effort into these parties, and it shows. I just wonder what her real motivations are. That woman is inscrutable. Can the Thalmor be trusted? For now, perhaps. But I've heard disturbing rumors that they're marshalling their strength. I suspect the treaty that ended the war was I just a tactic to, to buy time so the Thalmor can rebuild their armies. I hope I'm wrong. I'll not I'm not sure that. the Empire can afford I'm another war. Gossip, Shouldn't the Empire well, do the same thing then? Good the speaking with you. Hmm? My friend! A oh, toast to a beautiful to French. To Let me go say hi to... I'll wager it was Ulfric himself Girl Elisif, I am a thane of solitude after all. your mind is free of judgment and expectation. You might learn much in this chamber. I could learn a lot from the people in this room. Enjoying the party? Very much so, yes. Ellenwyn's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. My only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. You might be one of the few people that enjoys being here. It's a pleasure to see you again. Why, thank you. You are most courteous. I admit I'm surprised to see you here. Normally, these parties are reserved for the Jarls and business leaders of Skyrim. Ellenwyn must be very fond of you. Oh, she definitely is. Definitely knows my name and everything. I need your help with something. I'm always glad to help a friend if I can. What do you need? I need you to cause a scene, get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Oh, alright. If it's so important to you, I suppose I can help. This better be good. Maybe I should have gone with the drunk. You see, if Preventus was a real friend, he would have helped me out. What? Do you know who I am? I should have you taken up and flogged. What? Of course I know who you are. There's no excuse for your behavior. Time to go, time to go. You behave like you're that. carousing. Oh, Let's go. time to go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Of the Thalmor ambassador. Jarl Elisif, I ambassador. will make sure you promise to behave yourself to help time. you out. Remove I'll make sure to return to solitude as soon as I can. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. I've already forgotten whatever it was he said to me. I'm sure he's learned his lesson. Yarl Elisif, you're a true Absolutely. friend. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. Uh, a guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. Sorry. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Malborn always the quick thinker, huh? If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me get everything on, and you know what? Now is a great time to wear the helmet because I really, really, really want to make sure that I hide my face. I also feel like the last thing I want to do here is shout. I feel like shouting would be a dead giveaway to who I am. It'd give them a chance to really know who I am and who to look for when all of this is said and done. Alright, I think we're all set. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. You get going. You get going. I'm on my own. I'm good. Let me do the talking. Okay. just what you mean. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Okay. Well, I did Don't hear worry that Ulfric Stormcloak was slain while defending Windhelm oh, against the dragon. But it and now, <laughs> this is where things are going to get real, real hairy. Always Hurry it up. Ulfric I've got to get back before I miss. I'm gone. Maybe Good luck. See those robes You're on your own this now. morning. Malbert, are they with? I'm on More my own. I know it, and I'm real, real nervous no, about it, too. No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky, and it I'm will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! 
I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. Oh no. Alright. How am I gonna do this? How am I, as someone who's not sneaky, gonna do this? Well... I feel like Delphine even did say, it's like, oh, it's gonna get fun. Maybe she meant fun as in killing Thalmor. Maybe she meant fun as in an all-out bloodbath. If anything, it would show the people of Skyrim that the Thalmor are far from invincible if one person goes in and just slaughters them. At their own party, at their own soiree. I see the stairs. Oh, they're right there. Oh, they just turned around. You're dead. Okay, I was gonna try and get a sneak attack on them. Did not work. You're dead. That didn't last very long at all. That <laughs> lasted all of. In two seconds. Oh god. We have more? They're gonna be up the stairs, aren't they? Leave no witnesses. Leave no survivors. No one can know that I was here. Oh, that's a flame atronach. And we're clear? I think we're clear. All right. Oh, already detected. <laughs> this is not my day. This is not necessarily going well for me. I'm going to stay over here. I'm going to try and take them out from afar. This is not going well for me at all. Oh, it's really, really not. Death is the only way out of your misery. I still don't want to shout. I still don't want them to know it's me. Over here. Granted, I don't even know how much the Thalm would know about me. Your time is at its end. Clearly, Ellenwen did not recognize me. Ellenwen doesn't know who I am, so that's already a good sign. As long as she doesn't know who I am by the end of this, we'll hopefully be okay. Oh god, they're everywhere. How many of them are there? I only see this one here, though. There's more, but they're all outside the walls. So hopefully, we're gonna be okay. Hopefully, we'll be fine for the next few seconds. I'm glad they're not calling for reinforcements. But I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, but do not huh? presume. Oh, so we close. Have other who are less <sighs> Shit. Offensive. And he moved the last but second. No one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. Oh? You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks in the end. Now, I have work to do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you like and see how he answers. No, no, I'll... I'll wait outside. Okay. That would probably be best. Now, get out. Are they coming They're this way? Of the dragons too, aren't they? Paying too well, and they don't know anything. Just keep walking, Gisser, and do not mind the dead body. Huh? Okay, he, he saw the dead... Well, he didn't even look at the dead body. He just looked directly at me. <laughs> Although he didn't detect me. He freaked out because of the dead body. Still didn't see me in all of that somehow. Okay, I think he went downstairs. 
Gonna check for potions real quick. Haggling, glow dust, venom. I'm not gonna be able to open that. I'm not even gonna try. Anybody down here? No, I think we're clear. I think we're okay if just for a minute or two. I think we're clear. What a relief. Only two deaths. Well, not counting all the people I killed outside. First, Emissary Ellen. When we anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the Dragon Resurrection phenomenon, an informant has identified a possible lead whom we have brought back to the Embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Oh, a dossier on Delphine. It is a good thing she didn't come then. Status active. Capture or kill. High priority. Emissary level approval. Description, female Breton mid-50s. Background, Delphine was a high priority target during the first war, for both operational and political reasons. She was directly involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades within the Dominion. She has been identified and was slated for the initial purge, but by bad luck was recalled to Cyril just before the outbreak of hostilities. During the war, she evaded three attempts on her life, in one case killing an entire assassination team. Since then, we have only indirect evidence of her movements, as she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance. She should be considered very dangerous, and no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful preparation. Operational notes, she is believed to still be working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location on her. Assumed to be working alone, as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim. And, she has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own security. One of the reasons she has so far evaded elimination. Her continued existence is an affront to all of us. Any information on her whereabouts or activities should be immediately forwarded to the third emissary. And a dossier on Ulfric Stormcloak? Status, Asset, Uncooperative, Dormant, Emissary Level Approval. Description, Jarl of Windhelm, Leader of the Stormcloak Rebellion, Imperial Legion Veteran. Ulfric first came to our attention during the first war against the Empire, when he was taken as a prisoner of war during the campaign for the White Gold Tower. Under interrogation, we learned of his potential value, son of the Jarl of Windhelm, and he was assigned as an asset to the interrogator, who is now First Emissary Elinwen. He was made to believe information obtained during his interrogation was crucial in the capture of the Imperial City. The city had in fact fallen before he had broken, and then allowed to escape. After the war, contact was established and he has proven his worth as an asset. The so-called Markarth incident was particularly valuable from the point of view of our strategic goals in Skyrim, although it resulted in Ulfric becoming generally uncooperative to direct contact. Operational notes, direct contact remains a possibility under extreme circumstances, but in general the asset should be considered dormant. As long as the civil war proceeds in its current indecisive fashion, we should remain hands off. The incident at Helgen is an example where an exception had to be made. Obviously, Ulfric's death would have dramatically increased the chance of an imperial victory, and thus harmed our overall position in Skyrim. Note. The coincidental intervention of the dragon at Helgen is still under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whoever be is behind the dragon attacks has also an interest in the continuation of the war, but we should not assume therefore that their goals align with our own. A Stormcloak victory is also to be avoided, however, so the indirect aid to the Stormcloaks must be carefully managed. 
interesting. A dormant, uncooperative asset. Hmm. I realize now is not really the time for me to start looking through their books. I have what I came for. Realistically, it's time for me to get going. Realistically, it's time for me to get out of here. Well, down to the dungeons and then out of here. Stop, please. I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. I'm gonna put a better arrow on. Let's do... Orcish. Hopefully that'll Let's be enough. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. I've already told you Oh, everything. close. <sighs> close, but not entirely. Wait, where's Rulandil? Where, oh, where is Rulandil? Does he somehow not detect me in all this? I guess he didn't really notice their uh, interrogator dying. I. Alright, no. That is indeed a no. You're not very good at uh, managing your people. What do we have here? Thalmor Dossier Esbern. Fugitive, capture only, highest priority, emissary level approval. Description, male Nord, late 70s. Esbern was one of the Blade Lore Masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Falinesti Incident and the Breach of the Blue River Prison. His file had remained dormant for many years, an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Eleanor for punishment and re-education. In the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience, a salutary reminder to all operational levels that no Blades agent should be considered low priority for any reason. All are to be found and justice exacted upon them. Operational notes... As we are still in the dark, as to the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons, I have made capturing Esbern our top priority, as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore of the Blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akaviri origins and is still far superior to our own, which remains largely theoretical. The archives of Cloud Ruler Temple, which is believed to have been the primary repository of the oldest Blades lore, were largely destroyed during the siege, and although great effort has been made to reconstruct what was lost, it now appears that most of the records related to dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack. Thus, Esbern remains our best opportunity to learn how and why the dragons have returned. It cannot be ruled out that the Blades themselves are somehow connected to the dragons' return. We have recently obtained solid information that Esbern is still alive and hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is ongoing. We must proceed carefully to avoid Esbern becoming alerted to his danger. If he is indeed in Riften, he must not be given an opportunity to flee. So Delphine blames the Thalmor and the Thalmor blame the Blades. Funny how that works, huh? Hey there. How are you? I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want, then? No time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Who are you? What are you doing here? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Alright, I'll follow you. <sighs> Whatever you want. But let's go, now. 
You're safe now, Etienne. Listen up, spy. Oh, no. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Oh, no. Surrender immediately, or you both die. I'm putting down my weapon. Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor. dead already. Death is oh, not and... Not. All right. They wasted no time. I didn't move. I didn't go anywhere. Did you already kill him? You did. God damn it. Poor Malburn. I guess he was right. He said that he didn't know if I was up to the job, and in the end, I got everything I needed, but I couldn't save him. So maybe there was someone who would be better suited to all this. Alright. You're with me. Oh. I thought I had the key. Foolish me. Silly me. Wait. Do you have the key then? The people who just came in here? Yes. That is a yes. At least one person is getting out of here alive. At least I was able to save one person. It's not much, but I'll take it. Are you with me? Stay behind me. We don't know if it's safe in here. And go figure. It's not. I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna drop down. I got him. Look at that first hit. Ooh, almost, and... Boom. Etienne, it's safe, don't worry. You can come down now. Yeah, not the uh, best place to try and live out your days as a... a conjurer, huh? Alright. Etienne, I think we're safe. Are you still with me? You didn't have to help me, so... thanks. Where will you go now? You didn't have to help me, so... thanks. I guess nowhere. I guess you're just... on your own then. I'd love to get you back to town. I'd love to get you some clothes. I think we're closest to solitude. So, um... Uh, enjoy your new life in solitude. It's a lovely town. Lovely place. Let's call for my horse. And first things first, back to Riverwood. Let's tell Delphine that in the end we learned, honestly, nothing at all.